I'd like to share with you a different a uh, perspective, a perspective that negates to a large extent the uh, narrative of the trauma, of the national trauma. We should look also at the Yom Kippur War from the perspective of the paradigm of resilience. Resilience is, it, is, it looks at life, society, history, events from the paradigm of the perception of growth, not from the paradigm of stress. And this is a different interpretation, you can say, of life, interpretation, different interpretation of events, of history. And what I would like to do with you today is to try to look in perspective through the prism of resilience from Yom Kippur's symmetric war to current asymmetric environment in which Israel uh, maneuvers and operates. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in getting up every time we do. And this is the essence of resilience. That's what resilience is all about. Parathetically, I'd like to say that there are many people who say that there are lots and lots of different definitions to the term resilience. My contention is, if I may, that basically they all, all the different definitions speak about the same thing. Number one, resilience is associated always, and I'm saying resilience, generic resilience, system resilience, infrastructure resilience, economic resilience, human resilience, societal resilience. It's all the same. It's relevant in the context of a disruption of major disruptions, of traumatic experiences. But we have to recognize those who run the systems, those who influence the systems, have to realize that there is always a matter of regression, functional regression, following the consequences of the disruption. The important thing is, of course, the last one. And here is where we are tested, or the systems are tested. The question is whether the system has the capacity to rebound, to bounce back as fast or as quickly as possible to the original function, or if possible, to a forward position. The test of success is not in what you do when you are on the top. Success is how, you, how high you bounce, or you bounce back, or you bounce forward when you hit bottom. I try to analyze here the two fronts that we, we were in during the war. The Sinai front, represented here in blue, and the Golan front, represented here in the red. It is clearly a bouncing back pattern, clearly. There is a difference of the pattern of the bouncing back between the two fronts because of a variety of reasons that this is not for me to analyze, but we're partly analyzing this uh, conference here. And then there is also the element of the bouncing forward, which for me is very important. I suggest that resilience is something that can be enhanced. It is true about systems, it is true about the military system, and it is true about people and community. The major lesson, as far as I'm concerned, and this is something that is for Israel a major lesson, a major issue. We can work in advance in order to enhance our resilience. But my suggestion is that if we in Israel and in the Western world at large that are facing asymmetric challenges, made mostly of terror, if we make ourselves more resilient, and if we come to the confrontation ready and prepared, and we will be able, to an extent, we'll be able to stand up to terror, and perhaps, perhaps, we will be able, by our own preparedness and our own activities, prior activities, activities we will be able to make terror perhaps less effective and even perhaps obsolete.